Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and end up enjoying today's content, all I can ask you to do is to go ahead and hit that like button and red subscribe button as well. You can also follow me on all social medias at BladeMiz. And if you have spare time, go ahead and check out some of the other dope and will be the show content we drop on this channel. Now I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Cody Bellinger, as you guys see, his price is nowhere near to what it was when he was a gold or that Thursday night before he went diamond. And the answer is pretty easy. If you're going to invest in players and do player investments in general for my roster update prediction videos, you're going to want to sell the players off that Thursday night, especially if their prices are inflated. Meaning, if there is a player that's going from bronze to silver and you see that his quick sell, or I shouldn't say quick sell, but his sell now price is over 100 stubs, let alone let's say over 200 stubs, you're going to want to go ahead and sell off that player most likely then and there unless i tell you guys hold for gold because then he has potential to even earn you more stubs if there is a player that is going from silver to gold and you guys see that his sell now price is over 1000 you're going to most likely want to sell him off there especially if everybody is in on it because if everybody is in on it what it does is once that player hits the next tier the surplus amount of those players available on the community market makes the player less rare. So for example, with Cody Bellinger, he was a gold. Everybody invested in, him, invested in him because he was going diamond. So when he goes diamond, since so many people had him, he's no longer a rare diamond to obtain. Therefore, his price is, is going to actually depreciate in value. And that's why it's around 12 to 11K. If you sold him off that Thursday night, you'd make about 5k more stubs to about 4k more stubs than what you're seeing right there, which would have been an even bigger profit. But at the price he's selling right now, you guys should have made at least 4k minimum stubs off of him if you bought multiple of him in general. But that's pretty much my tip and advice. If you're going to do player investments, make sure you go ahead and sell them off either Thursday night or Friday mornings, because that's usually when they are the highest in their sell now price and buy now price and that's usually when you can make the most amount of stubs possible.